let A and B be subsets of a set S. Then A is a subset of the complement of B, which we will write as B prime, if and only if what is true. What do you think goes here? Well, the only way that A is going to be a subset of the complement of B is if none of the elements in A are in B, which means that A intersect B is the empty set. They have no elements in common, and we're writing the empty set like that. And I want to point out we're saying A and B are subsets of this set S so that the complement of B has meaning. By the complement of B, we mean all of the elements not in B that are in S. So if this is our set S, which we might call the universal set in this case, and this is our set B, the orange set, everything outside of B but in the purple or pink box, which remember is S, everything outside of B but in the box is the complement of B. So A is a subset of B if and only if A intersect B is equal to the empty set which if we wanted to finish our diagram would mean that A is somewhere over here and so the whole thing looks something like this. But enough drawing silly pictures, let's go ahead and get into the proof. It's pretty easy, pretty straightforward, so let's waste no time. This is of course an if and only if statement, so we need to prove two directions. The first thing we'll do is prove that if A is a subset of the complement of B, then A intersect B is the empty set. To do that, we'll take an arbitrary element, little a, from the set A. Since the set A is a subset of B complement, or the complement of B, we have that A, by definition of subset, is also an element of the complement of B. Then, by definition of the complement of B, we have that A is not an element of B because the complement of B only contains elements that are not in B, but are in our universal set S. By definition, A intersect B contains all elements of A that are also elements of B. We've just demonstrated that if you take any arbitrary element from A, it's not an element of B, and therefore A intersect B must be the empty set. So again, all we did was take an arbitrary element of A, and then since it's a subset of the complement of B, we were easily able to show that element cannot be an element of B. Thus, no element of A is also an element of B, hence the intersection of A and B is empty. Now we can go ahead and move on to the other direction. Now, we will assume that A intersect B is equal to the empty set, and we want to prove that A is a subset of B prime. And this is super easy. Since we want to show that A is a subset of B prime, we want to start off, again, by taking an arbitrary element, little a, of the set A. And we want to show this element must be in B prime, the complement of B. Since little a is an element of the set A, and A intersect B is empty, we know that our element little a is not an element of B. If it was, then A would be in the intersection of A and B, and thus A intersect B would not be equal to the empty set. But it is. So the element A cannot be an element of the set B. Therefore, by definition, the element A is an element of the complement of B. Thus, all elements of A are also elements of B complement. Hence, draw that little arrow, therefore, the set A is a subset of the complement of B, which again we're writing B prime. I think this first step here is the only one that's not super obvious, so let me explain that one more time. Since we're assuming A intersect B is empty, if we take an arbitrary element of A, we know that it cannot be in the set B. Otherwise, that element would be in A intersect B, and that would contradict A intersect B being equal to the empty set and having no elements. And that completes the proof. Let's slap down a tombstone. There we go. And uh, yeah, I hope this video helped you understand how to prove this basic set theory result. If A and B are subsets of a set S, then A is a subset of B complement, if and only if A intersect B is equal to the empty set. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, need anything clarified, or have any other video requests. Thank you very much for watching, I'll see you next time, and be sure to subscribe for the swankiest math lessons on the internet.